what's going on guys this is Joshua welcome to another video welcome to feature film actor on 4A0 where we saw movies film and TV shows and music so here I am talking about the 10 year long awaited sequel to the cult classic film Zombieland Zombieland Double Tap this is directed by Ruben Flazer written by Red Reese Paul Wernick and David Callahan uh it stars Woody Harrelson, Jesse Eisenberg, Abigail Breslin, Emma Stone, Zoe Dutch, Rosario Dawson. And in this movie, we take place after the events of the first movie. Columbus, Tallahassee, Wichita, and Little Rock move to the American heartland as they face off against evolved zombies, fellow survivors, and the growing pains of the snarky makeshift family. But after a fight between Columbus and Wichita creates a deep rift in the makeshift family that causes Little Rock to leave with a strange man, the group must band together to find Little Rock and mend the family ties. So face, facing these new zombies, they are forced to adjust to their strategies until they find an incredibly new zombie hunter known only as Nevada. While along the way, they pick up this blonde, the blonde chick, Madison. And Madison, she's basically the dumb white, the dumb chick in the movie, but in a lot of ways, she's pretty. She's she's also pretty funny. Now, going into Zombie Land Double Tap, I was actually interested in the Zombie Land movie because I love the first one. I thought the first one was really funny. It was really hilarious, and I really enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> this movie. I was a little skeptical at first because of maybe it was too little too late, but then the trailers came along I got hooked. Even though the director was back and the writers were back, even though I'm, I hated the director's last movie, Venom, for good reasons, um, I still want to see how he, if he could redeem himself. And I will say, Zombieland almost happened. This is a funny movie. Now, it's not as funny as the first. It's, it's not better than the first, but it is just as funny as the first. And I will give the movie a lot of credit for taking its time to, to take this long to make. I really appreciate the fact that this did take 10 years to make, because if this was easily rushed, this would have been one terrible film but and I, I, I gotta say that all the comedy that you love from the first movie is there and the characters that you love from the first movie are here too Tom loved all the characters in this movie once again it's the same characters from the first one but it's great to see them back it feels like they never left Jesse Eisenberg, Woody Harrelson, Emma Stone as their main characters and Abigail Breslin, they all do great jobs in their parts. I think each of them, they are all really fun to watch for the most part in this movie. They do a really great job with the cat, with the performances. And I think that each of them, they all stood out in their, in their own way. It, especially Emma Stone this time around, who is still high. She just celebrated her birthday yesterday. Abigail Breslin is more older now, so she's she's become become attractive and she's really great in her role as well i really liked her woody harrelson is still the man he's still after the doggone sweet twinkies but the, the guy is awesome in this movie i gotta say he got he he did a good job in the role that he they have and he still cracked me up especially the scene in the santa claus outfit that was hilarious so i gotta say that was fun and also Jesse Eisenberg as Columbus. I still really very much liked him and his role a lot. You could tell that they have became a family since the events of that first movie and they they still have that amazing awesome chemistry from the first movie. So I gotta say they brought their A game there in terms of that the their performances. And I like the new characters in this movie. Avenjogia as a new character, I really liked him better. But he he's pretty cool. He's the one who that Little Rock leaves with. But I thought he was great in the movie. It was cool to see him 
It's always cool to see him. He was also really good in Shaft, which I will review as a catch-up review. And I gotta say, the movie was the movie was fun. I gotta say, his performance was fun. Rosario Dawson, she doesn't have a lot to do, but I liked her character, Nevada. She she was really cool. I did. I really loved her character as well. I thought she she's not in the movie much, but she does do a good job. But one of my issues is that I do wish she was in the movie a little more. Then you have Luke Wilson and Thomas Mill Ditches, Albuquerque and Flagstaff. I didn't really like them as much. I thought they were just there to serve the purpose along. But they're not in it that long. So I will say, yeah, they did good. But my favorite character besides the three main characters... I mean, the four main characters, my favorite character in this movie was Zoe Dutch as Madison. Yes, each, for some people, she could easily be annoying or be hilarious, but in my opinion, Zoe Dutch, beautiful actress, great actress, I gotta say, she was hilarious as Madison. She's playing the dumb blonde with no brains, but she, she, she made it funny. Everything she was saying, I was just you know, laughing. And she, she had a lot of best characters in the entire movie. So she was awesome in this movie. And I gotta say, the cast was awesome. As far as direction goes and writing goes, Ruben Fleischer and his writers, they do a great job to make sure it it is still entertaining as, as the first movie. Even though some of the comedy doesn't really land a lot, is still very much comedy that is there. So I have to say they do he did a good job of that. The music and cinematography is also really well nice. I do enjoy the music and I do like the technical aspects that they put into this movie. I do like what they were trying to go for with in this movie. It's it's still, it's not much added on from the first one, but it's it's enough in her to make it a, a worthy enough sequel. And I gotta say that when the zombie action happens, I do like that. It's bloody, it's R-rated. This movie is R-rated for a reason. They don't go back on the zombie violence or the profanity. And I still find myself laughing a lot most of the time in this movie. My only issues, however, like I said, some of the writing isn't that great, and I didn't like the, those two characters, played by Luke Wilson and Thomas Milditch, even they, though they did a good job. And also, is the could there there are some things in the movie that could have been fleshed out just a little bit more, but that's pretty much it when it comes to Zombie Land Double Tap. It's just. All in all, I gotta say, I was really entertained with Zombie Land on tap. I can see why some people are not gonna like it, but I didn't hate the movie. I really thought this was a worthy successor to the first movie. This could have been this could have been bad, but I'm very happy that they actually put some effort into this movie. So at the end of the day, Zombie Land Double, Double Tap, while it's not better than the first one it still has the same charm and wit from the first one thanks to the directing thanks to the writing and some of the, and the performances and you still have some pretty fun action sequences here so all in all i'm gonna give zombie land double tap i highly recommend it so zombie land double tap what did you think of it in the comments below let me know down below we're not gonna agree on this movie do you like it do you hate it are you in the middle are you in between do you think it's good to pleasure do you think it's underrated do you think it's overrated let me know down below do you prefer this one or the original zombie land and who is your favorite character in the entire movie like i said my favorite character besides the og characters was was madison so let, let me know all that down below all my social media links are in the description box down below. You guys keep it cool and join the Epitaph.